Hello everybody, Ropefox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Redstone Tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a super awesome deluxe potato factory. This semi-automatic potato factory pretty much does everything except plant the potatoes. So if we take a look to the right over here, you'll notice that we have two different settings. Currently, this is set to our potato farming mode. So what this means is we plant our potatoes right here. That will be bone milled, go down into our collection system, and then come up in our chest right here. Now, our second setting that we have is our baked potato mode. So all we do is press this button and it switches over and that is indicated by this redstone lamp right here. And of course, we do need fuel inside of our furnace. So let's go ahead and place that in. And to make this work, all we do is the same thing. We plant our potatoes that is gonna get bone milled and we'll go ahead and give it another batch just like that and our potatoes are gonna cook down below because we do have a furnace. And once that cooks into a baked potato, that baked potato will show up in our chest right here. Boom, there it is. Now, the cool thing about this, while we're cooking our baked potatoes, we can also switch this back over into our potato farming mode. So this has switched over, and let's go ahead and grow ourselves a few more potatoes, just like that. So those are gonna come up, as you see right here, but at the same time, we are gonna have our baked potatoes coming in, and you just saw it right there. But wait, there's more. Not only is this a potato farm and a baked potato cooker, but this build also filters out all of our poisonous potatoes. So if we go ahead and throw a few of them in just like this, you'll notice that they don't make their way up into the chest. As compared to our regular potatoes, let's go ahead and throw a few of those in, like that. Those will go down, and then those will come up into our chest. And that is because we have a separate chest for all of the poisonous potatoes. So there are the five that we just threw in. Now, if you aren't completely satisfied, let's go ahead and throw in the last five right here, just like that. And if we take a look down below once more, you'll see that we have all 10 of our poisonous potatoes. Now, the great part about this is that this build will never jam up due to the poisonous potatoes. And with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at how to make it. All right. To make this deluxe potato factory, you are gonna need a six by seven area like you see right here. And as far as height is concerned, you will need seven blocks under the ground and then three blocks above. So to show you what I mean, let's go ahead and take a look at the build right here. So this will be the ground level right here. We will be seven blocks below like this and then three blocks above. So let's go ahead and take a look at our supplies. And today's supply list is gonna be a little bit more expensive than normal. So what we have here, are 16 hoppers, four observers, three droppers, a dispenser, four pistons, three sticky pistons, five comparators, five repeaters, six redstone torches, 16 redstone dust, two redstone lamps, two stone buttons, a hopper minecart, a rail, a soul sand, a bucket of water, your dirt block, 23 glass blocks, two obsidian, your furnace, eight chests, your building blocks, and then one stair block. And down below, we are gonna need 42 junk items for the filter system, as well as a potato and one poisonous potato. Everything else will be added on later, such as the item frames, your bone meal, your coal, and then you will need a hoe to till your dirt block. With that being said, if you wanna pause the video, go ahead and do that, grab your supplies, and then we'll jump right into the build. Because this is gonna be a bigger redstone build, what I thought I would do is try to break this down in two different parts. So for this first part, what we're gonna do is lay down the foundation for the entire build. So to do that, let's come over to the bottom right here. We wanna come three blocks over and four blocks in. Place a temporary block right there. Run a hopper into that block so it's facing sideways like this. Crotch place your furnace on top of that hopper and then run a hopper into the top of your furnace there. Now go ahead and grab your chest. We wanna turn sideways. Crotch place the chest on top of the hopper and then place one more chest right in front of that one. Now go ahead and grab your hoppers once again. And on this side, the back side of your furnace, go ahead and crouch place your hoppers into the back of these chests right here. Now what we're gonna do is crouch place blocks against the hoppers like this. Another one there. Come two more blocks up like this. These are temporary. Run hoppers into those blocks, knock those out. And then we'll get to the redstone in a bit. We just want the foundation. So right now we should have these hoppers facing out like that and these hoppers running into our chests. Now on top of these hoppers, what we're gonna do is create a double chest like this. 
grab your hoppers once again, and on the left side of your double chest, go ahead and crouch place a hopper into the front of the chest, crouch place a rail on top, place your hopper minecart down right there, and then we want to place a dirt block right above the hopper minecart. So that is all done, and what you should have so far is something that looks like this, and if we take a look at it from the side, it should look just like that. So this is the foundation. Now let's go ahead and start working on some redstone. Next, what we're going to do is set up our item filters. So to do that, let's come around to the back side of our build here. And with these blocks, what I'm going to do is swap them out for colored wool. That way, when we have all of our circuits going on, it won't get too confusing, hopefully. So we have these two blocks here. And what we're going to do is place a temporary block underneath like that. Grab your pistons, place a piston facing up here, and a piston facing up right next to it. Now go ahead and place obsidian blocks on top like this and place two more blocks against your pistons like that. Now if we take a look at it from the side, we can remove this. It should look like this so far. Now go ahead and grab your comparators and what we're going to do on these blocks is run comparators out from our hoppers like that. Get your redstone dust and line up these blocks with the redstone dust. Now go ahead and grab your redstone torches and come down below and place redstone torches on the side of our pistons here. So what this is going to do these redstone torches are going to power this block, and that is going to lock up these hoppers here, preventing our items from going down below, at least until we want them to. And we'll set that up in just a moment. Now, for those of you who have not seen this, what this does, let's place a piston here with our redstone torch on the side. Once this gets powered, this torch is going to invert. But you do see we get extension with our piston, as we normally do. But to prevent that, we place obsidian on top. We power it. This is still going to invert, but our piston does not extend, allowing us to place redstone dust on top, as you see right here. So hopefully that makes sense so far. Now let's go ahead and place in our items for the filter. Before we place in the items, what I do recommend is coming back around to the front side of the build, just to make sure all the items go in the correct spot. So we do have our furnace on the right side, and what this means is that we want to have our potatoes on this right hopper here, and our poisonous potatoes on the left side. So to set this up, let's go ahead and open up this hopper. And in these first three areas, or the last three, we want to place five items. One, two, three, four, five. Five here. And we want to place six in this slot right here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now go ahead and grab your potato. Place one potato right there. And there we go. Now for the left side, what we're going to do is the exact same thing. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now go ahead and grab your poisonous potato, place your poisonous potato right there. And there we go. These are all set up. So what this does for the item sorter, these are going to let off a redstone output. We have a total of 22 items in here. Now this is an output of one. Once we get our 23rd item, what this does is give us an output of two. So this will power, powering our piston as you saw earlier. And then that will invert this torch, opening up this hopper, and allowing that item to pass through. So, to give this a demonstration, this is where our farm is up top. This is where we plant our potatoes. And let's say we get potatoes. We have nine. We're going to put them in. And let's also place in our poisonous potatoes to say we got those as well. This is going to go into this double chest, and then it's going to be sorted and filtered out. So, in this left chest, we have our poisonous potatoes here. And then we have our potatoes down in the furnace. Now you will notice we did have nine. For the first few potatoes, you will get one stuck in this hopper. And then you'll get one stuck in this hopper. So that is not a big deal. This whole thing does its job. And that is the item filter all set up. All right, from here, what we need to do is find a way for our potatoes to come back up to us. So the solution to this is to make a water elevator. So to do that, what we're going to do is grab our dropper and come down to this block that we placed in the beginning and place your dropper facing sideways like this. From the front of the build, this is facing to the left. And what we can do is knock this block out right here and crouch place a hopper into the back of that dropper. That way, all of our hoppers are running directly into this dropper. Now go ahead and grab your comparator. We want to run a comparator out from that hopper. Set that to subtract mode. And again, this is facing towards the back of the build. We want to run that comparator into a repeater, which runs into a block right here. And on this right side, go ahead and line up these blocks with redstone dust, like this. Now over on the left side, what we're going to do is place redstone dust right here. 
get your observer. Place your observer facing in this direction, so arrow away from the dust, and we also have the face looking right at it. And then we're going to run that observer into a block, which is then going to power the dropper. So if we give this a test, let's say these are potatoes coming down. Those are going to be dispensed by the dropper, and then we're going to place our water elevator right here. For the water elevator, we want to place soul sand right here. And go ahead and grab your glass, place two glass blocks above the dropper. That should end right under this hopper here. On the back side, we want to come up eight blocks. And it should finish even with our dirt block here. Now on the left side, we want to come up six. There we go. And for the front, we want to place one block here. Get a piston and place your piston facing in towards your furnace. Now we will get to this in just a moment, but we do want to finish up the water elevator. So from here, go ahead and come up five more blocks. And there we go. So what we're going to do next before we place in the water is place a temporary block right here. Get your hopper, run your hopper into that temporary block, knock it out, and place down a double chest. So that will be the collection system right here. Now for the water, what we're going to do Right against this top block is place a block here. Get your sticky piston and place your sticky piston facing forward towards your dirt block. Now place a block against the right side and then one underneath. Like that. Now what we're going to do is grab our water bucket and we are going to waterlog this piston here. So go ahead and look at it. Place down your water and you can see we do have our source block right here running down and this will also keep our farmland hydrated. And you can also see we do have a bubble column as indicated by the bubbles. So to give this a test, let's go ahead and throw in our chest once again. There we go. You see them flying up and shooting in the air. And these are all going to go into our collection system. At this point in time, we will take a quick break from the redstone and build up the front of our build. So this is going to be our floor level right here. We can go ahead and come across like this. And I am making this five blocks wide. And go ahead and place a block on both sides of your dirt block like this. And above your chest, go ahead and place down your upside down stair. And we do need to place one more block here. So we want to put that there. And on these two blocks here, go ahead and place down redstone lamps. And right below it, place down two stone buttons. And there we go. We will get to the rest of this in just a bit. I do want to finish all the redstone down below. And right here is where we set up the beginning of it. And now what we're going to do is set up the redstone that is going to allow us to switch between our baked potato cooker and our potato farm. But before we do that, let's go ahead and grab a chest. We need to come down below and against this piston here, place down a chest. That will be for the potato farm. And then go ahead and skip a block. Place a temporary block here with a piston facing in. We can remove that. So we have these here. And what these buttons are going to do up top is control the pistons here. Now what we're going to do is grab ourselves some sticky pistons, come right underneath those two blocks right there, place two sticky pistons facing down like this, grab your observer, and place your observers facing in this direction. So we do have the red dot facing towards the front of the build. Now what we're going to do is set up our RS snore latch. So we want to place a temporary block right here, block there, block there, knock that out. Get yourself your droppers, and place a dropper facing in and then another dropper facing in towards that one. So these are looking at each other. And what I did forget to mention in the supply list was to bring a non-stackable item to put inside the droppers. There we go. So I do apologize for that. And from here, what we're going to do is place a block like this with our comparator running out. So right now it is detecting the item inside this dropper here. And then over on this side, go ahead, temporary block, block out. We're going to place a comparator right there. So to give a demonstration of what the RS Nor Latch does, because I'm not quite sure how to explain it, hopefully the visual aid will help a lot better. So again, we do have the item inside this dropper, which is being detected by that comparator. So to switch it over, what we need to do is press this one. That's going to extend our observer down, powering that block, which is going to power that dropper, and spit the item over into this side. So you can see this is now lit up because our item is over here. And to switch it back over, we press this one. And there we go. That's how this circuit works. Now that you know how the RS Norlatch works, let's go ahead and apply the circuit to our pistons. 
So what we want to do is run this comparator into a block and then we want to place a block against that piston with redstone dust on top. So that is powered, our piston extends and over on this side what we want to do is place a block here, a block down against the piston and redstone dust on these blocks. So that is all wired up and if we go ahead and press this button here for the baked potato that is going to switch over and then of course as you just saw we press this one it's going to switch back over to that. So that is done and now what we need to do is wire up our redstone lamps. To wire our redstone lamps what we're going to do is come down here we want to come a block out like this place down a repeater run that repeater into a block temporary block here a block out and then a block up right there. And on this block, go ahead and place down redstone dust. So we should have this little pattern like that. Now what we're going to do is create a redstone torch tower. So on this block, place down a redstone torch. A block above that torch. Torch there. Block. And then what we're going to do is place a torch facing in this direction. And then go ahead and place one more block above it. And one more block to connect to the redstone lamp. Get your redstone dust and line this up. And there we go. There is our first lamp wired up. So this will be connected to our potato farm. And then what we're going to do to switch this over is simply place a redstone torch right here. So at the moment it is inverted. But once we press this, that swaps over. Our redstone signal inverts. And this allows this torch to turn on, powering this redstone lamp. So there we go. There's a switch. And back to our baked potato. Now that we finish all the redstone down below, it is finally time to place in the potato farm. So to do that, what we're going to do is place a temporary block right here with our observer right there. So we have the arrow pointing up with our face looking at the dirt. Get your dispenser and place your dispenser facing in towards the dirt. Now place a block right here and then on top place down redstone dust. So this part is pretty simple. We plant our potatoes. Our observer detects that. That is going to fire our dispenser and grow our potatoes. That's going to detect the growth and keep going until it is finally done growing. Now what we're going to do on the back side is set up a timer for our piston to fire after our potatoes have fully grown. So to do that, let's go ahead and place a block on top of the piston. Block here. Two more blocks out like that. And then a block down. Get your repeaters. Place two repeaters here, set both of those to four ticks. Redstone dust here, and redstone dust right there. Now get your last repeater, and run a repeater into that block, and set that to three ticks. And there we go, that is all finished. Now the only thing left to do is to build up the rest of our farm here, so something just like this. And there we go. Now, I will admit... Our chest for our coal was an afterthought because we have all this redstone going on down below. So what we're going to do is grab our hoppers, run a hopper into the front of our furnace here, a hopper into that one. And then we're going to go ahead and run hoppers all the way up to our floor level. Now if you want to make a ladder and do something else, you can totally do that. And then we place a chest on top, right there, and then we fill in the rest of our floor. So there we go, there is the farm all set up. Now all we need to do is place in the final touches. For the final touches, all we need to do is till our dirt here, and I've already placed bone meal inside, and then of course we do need to figure out which one is which. But we do know the inside is for the furnace, and if you aren't sure, you can take a look down below. And while we're down here, what we need to do is run one more hopper into that hopper there. So the reason for that is once we switch this over to our potato farm, our furnace is now here. And if it's cooking potatoes over on this side, we still want them to go down into our collection system. So that is why we do that. And I totally forgot to mention that. So again, I do apologize. There is a lot going on here. So, I mean, I think I did pretty good so far, not messing too many things up. But let's go ahead and test this out. So this is set to our baked potato mode. And... So we know what's going on here. We place a baked potato here and a potato right there. And we do need to put in our coal still. So that is going to filter down just like that. And then we can go ahead and start planting our potatoes. So as you saw in the beginning, that is going to grow and go down. Let's go ahead and give it another batch. That's going to go down. And then if we take a look down below, there is our furnace. It is on. 
and then if we take a look up here we should be getting our first baked potato so there is the first one and of course we do switch this over to our potato farm and hopefully there's no more coal filtering in or else it will come up so it sounds like we're good we can go ahead and do that we get our potatoes and again as you saw in the beginning our potatoes are going to come up here and then we will still get our baked potatoes as you see right there and there you have it, everyone a deluxe potato factory on bedrock edition i know this ended up being a big build but it does feature everything that i wanted it to have of course we do have our two separate settings here we have our baked potato cooker and we also have our potato farm and then we have the redstone lamps to indicate which one is active and then of course down below we do have our poisonous potato filter which i feel like is lacking from pretty much every potato farm out there once you get a poisonous potato into your system it completely jams up the farm so i feel like this was a mandatory feature that every potato farm should have so we added that and on top of that we have all of our fun little redstone circuits down below which was really fun to put together so this is one of my more elaborate designs and i am really pleased with the way this came out with that being said this is the end of today's redstone tutorial i really hope you guys enjoyed this has been rogue fox and i'm out i'll see you later